Do you know that the boxer Ipo Makanochi is in a state of retirement? And the boxer who forced Ipo to retire is a Filipino? Now you know. This is what we'll be discussing in this entire video. Ipo came from a defeat by a world-renowned boxer named Alfredo Gonzalez. After his fight with Gonzalez, Ipo promised his girlfriend Kumi that if he lost again, he would stop boxing. Because of his defeat, Ipo rested for 10 months and trained his lower body. Because of this, Ipo created a new version of the Dempsey Roll. Instead of just moving left and right, he added diagonal and horizontal movements, and it became a combination of hooks and uppercuts. Because of this, his movements became more unpredictable and harder to counter. After 10 months of rest and training, Ipo is going to fight again in the ring and his opponent is a Filipino boxer named Antonio Guevara. Antonio Guevara, who lives in Smoky Mountain, is the new champion in the Philippines after defeating Malcolm Ghetto, who was beaten by Ipo, which we will discuss in future videos. Since Guevara is a southpaw, Ipo prepared and trained against left-handed boxers. After defeating three left-handers, Ipo trained with coach Kamogawa, and they focused on Ipo's new version of the Dempsey Roll. Ipo was worried about Kamagawa and he might have a hard time catching punches from his new version of the Dempsey Roll. But Kamagawa reassured him not to worry and shouted at Ipo not to underestimate him. Ipo and Antonio first met at the signing ceremony before their fight and they shook hands. Ipo noticed that Antonio's natural instinct, even in greeting, was to use his left hand. On the day of their fight, Ipo went to Ryogoku Kokugiken, the stadium where they will be fighting. Their fight has begun. At first, Antonio remained distant and used his jab to keep Ipo out of reach. But because of Ipo's lower body training, he was able to quickly close in. And he threw a fast right straight that knocked Antonio down in the first round. Everyone was surprised by the speed and the power shown by the returning Ipo. But in Kamagawa's mind, because Antonio is a southpaw and when they back away to evade, they are harder to reach. So Kamagawa realized that Ipo's punch didn't connect properly. Because Antonio merely leaned back too much, which was the real cause of his knockdown. As Antonio stood up, Ipo immediately rushed him and showered him with various combinations of punches until Antonio was cornered against the ropes. In Coach Kamagawa's mind, the last time Ipo had someone cornered, he was knocked out, so he needs to be careful. Antonio attempted to strike back but to his surprise, Ipo was able to dodge it. And that's when everyone first saw Ipo's new version of the Dempsey Roll. Everyone was shocked to see this as Ipo was moving diagonally and horizontally, continuously barraging Antonio with punches. Suddenly, Antonio fell. But the referee said he just slipped and it was not considered a knockdown. Everyone was impressed and amazed by Ipo's new Dempsey roll, a mix of hooks and uppercuts. Antonio stood up, but in his mind, he could no longer feel his hand. And Ipo was too strong for him. Even if he tried to defend, he would easily break. The fight continued with Ipo rushing at him right away. In fear of Ipo's new Dempsey, Antonio backed off until he was cornered again. When Ipo was about to use the Dempsey, Antonio thought of the only one technique that could stop Ipo and he let out a flurry of punches. Ipo's inexperience against Southpaws began to show. But Ipo continued his attack and Antonio also charged but merely clung to Ipo to stop him and took a break. Antonio tried to bring down Ipo using his body weight while clinging to him. But due to Ipo's training, this would not easily work. Since Ipo's comfort zone is close combat, he released a powerful body blow while Antonio was clinging to him. And when Ipo was about to charge again, the referee stopped him and Antonio was saved by the bell. Whew. The second round began with Ipo attacking fearlessly, but Antonio knew what he had to do. He used his long arms and showered Ipo with jabs to keep him away. Since Ipo is shorter, he had a hard time advancing and Antonio's barrage of punches kept coming. But slowly, Ipo was getting closer to Antonio. And when he did, Antonio pushed Ipo away and was warned by the referee. The fight continued, but Ipo was still having a hard time getting close due to Antonio's long reach. Suddenly, Ipo stopped attacking and used the peekaboo stance. And right away, Sendo said for sure Ipo will win. Because the determination to win can be seen in his eyes. Ipo advanced again using his new version of Dempsey. 
and it connected through Antonio's defense which caused his nose to bleed. Ippo continuously showered Antonio with hooks and uppercuts but all of them were barely hitting Antonio. Because something was stopping Ippo and it was Antonio's foot. Because his foot is positioned forward, an advantage of southpaw boxers, Ippo's foot hits Antonio's foot when he uses the Dempsey roll. And it became a disadvantage for Ippo because he is smaller and has shorter arms. Antonio again kept his distance while Ippo kept charging, but was stopped when Antonio released a right straight. So Ippo had a hard time getting close to Antonio because of his powerful punches. But slowly, Ippo kept moving forward while enduring Antonio's powerful punches. And when Ippo got close, he connected with a powerful right hook that knocked Antonio down. The crowd erupted in surprise and joy. And when Antonio stood up, the bell rang and they went back to their corners. The referee warned Antonio's coach that if he sees Antonio in danger, he will stop the fight. Blood continued to drip from Antonio's mouth and nose, which could be a valid reason to stop the fight. Because of the power of Ippo's right hook, it broke the inside of Antonio's mouth, so the bleeding could not be stopped. But Antonio's Filipino blood showed and he remained determined to continue the fight because he wanted to return to the Philippines with pride and not give up. In Ippo's corner, when he rinsed his mouth, his mouth was also full of blood because of Antonio's powerful jabs. Kamugawa reminded him that Antonio is nearly out of strength, so be careful because for sure he is looking for a chance to counter. And when Ippo stood up, he promised Kamugawa that he would end the fight in that round. Before the third round started, Aoki, Kimura, and Itagaki had a conversation. For a boxer, two rounds or six minutes is all it takes to get used to a boxer who has been off for 10 months. And it's also enough time to get used to a southpaw opponent, so they were sure that this would be the last round. The third round started, Ippo's strategy to rush and get close to Antonio continued. But Ippo was stopped when he got hit by Antonio's 1-2 punch. Antonio was thinking, he had no time and strength left, so he needed to end the fight in that round. Antonio unleashed a right hook and it solidly connected with Ippo, likely because he wasn't accustomed to fighting southpaws. Ippo thought Ippo would fall because he was stopped by Antonio's punch, but Ippo continued to charge, dodged, and hit Antonio's body with the right straight, which made the referee wonder if he should stop the fight. But Antonio held on to Ippo and signaled to the referee that he could still fight. Then Ippo delivered a powerful liver blow, ooh, lifting Antonio's body off the ground due to its force. Antonio was pushed back by the strong liver blow he received and Ippo quickly rushed at him. But just as Ippo was about to seize the chance to finish him off, he was tripped by Antonio's foot causing Ippo to fall. Oh. The crowd was terrified thinking Ippo had been knocked down but the referee ruled it as a slip. Before the fight could continue, Antonio's coach was considering throwing in the towel to stop the fight because Ippo had figured out the technique to get close to Antonio and Antonio was only lucky that their feet got tangled causing Ippo to trip. The fight went on and Ippo immediately attacked to use his advantage while Antonio was still reeling from the liver blow. Antonio tried to retaliate with his jabs but Ippo didn't flinch and let loose a strong left hook. Antonio's coach considered throwing in the towel to surrender, but was stopped by another coach because Antonio was determined to finish the fight. Antonio threw a powerful 1-2 punch, breaking Ippo's defense as he was showered with numerous jabs ha, 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 that Ippo was slowly feeling. The fight went on with Antonio using his long arms, while Ippo was slowly getting closer even though he was taking punches from Antonio. Antonio was hit by a punch from Ippo, whoop, which he was able to deflect. But even though he deflected it, he was still hit hard by the strength of Ippo's punch. And again, Antonio's coach tried to throw in the towel, but Antonio suddenly threw a powerful straight that pushed Ippo back. However, Ippo continued to charge while in a cross arm block to defend himself from Antonio's jabs. Ippo connected with his right straight to Antonio's body as he was getting closer. Antonio's coach was about to surrender when he saw that Ippo was going to use his Dempsey roll, but suddenly he fell and was counted by the referee. The audience was confused as this was not ruled as a slip but was counted as a knockdown. What is happening? 
Itsagaki wondered why Kamogawa didn't complain about the referee's decision and showed that Ippo was barely grazed by a right hook while he was planning to use the Dempsey Roll. As soon as the fight continued, Ippo immediately charged in while in a cross-arm block, and he unleashed a long right hook that sent Antonio flying to the corner. Ow! Ippo loses his control and discipline and raids down a barrage of combinations because he wanted to show Kamogawa what they had worked hard for, but he was stopped twice. In Kamogawa's mind, Ippo's punches were impressive, but his defense was full of openings. And his windup was too large, causing a slight delay in his punches. Antonio quickly noticed this and thought, Ah, Ipo's punches have a large windup. His defense is open and his chin is raised. If I can just hit him, it would be a powerful counter. And Antonio countered, stopping Ipo and quickly getting out of the corner. Ipo was surprised to find Antonio behind him and chased him with a punch. And before he could reach Antonio, the referee separated them and the third round ended there. Saved by the bell again. Kamogawa angrily scolded Ippo for his undisciplined barrage of punches. He was also angry because the Dempsey is most effective in the corner and it was wasted because Ippo lost control. The fourth round began and Antonio showered jabs. Mashiba, Miyata, and Sendo had a conversation. Since Ippo started learning the new Dempsey roll, he focused too much on it, causing it to become his advantage in his own boxing style. Little by little, Ippo approached using the cross-arm block to defend against Antonio's jabs. When Ippo got close, he attempted to use the Dempsey roll again. But their feet got tangled again and Ippo got hit with a left hook causing him to be knocked down. While Ippo was getting up, Kamogawa shouted not to focus too much on the Dempsey roll. But Ippo was stubborn and insisted that he must end the fight with the technique they have worked hard for because he wanted to show his gratitude to his coach. Ippo was up, but it was obvious he was affected by his fall and couldn't stand straight. The referee told Ippo to walk towards him and thought if Ippo stumbled, he would stop the match. Ippo walked properly and the fight continued. Slowly, Antonio approached from his corner, clearly showing fatigue and extreme weakness. The audience shouted for Ippo to rest first and not to rush the fight. But Ippo was stubborn to attack, thinking he needed to use the Dempsey roll because he promised his coach. Ippo showered a combination of punches again but all of them were defended by Antonio. But due to this, Antonio was slowly cornered again. Miyata and Kamogawa noticed that Ippo had lost his discipline and he was punching with his defense wide open as if waiting to be countered. While the audience cheered for Ippo, and in Kamogawa's mind, he noticed that Ippo had lost consciousness several times while fighting. Ippo continued to throw punches and was barely hit by Antonio's left hook. The preparation to use the new Dempsey roll began, but it didn't continue because he lost his strength in his legs and was knocked down again due to the Dempsey roll. While Ippo was trying to get up, Sendo said while talking to Mashiba and Miyata, it's impossible for Ippo to be knocked down by a grazing punch if he doesn't fall from my punch. So they are sure something was different or wrong with Ippo. At the referee's count of 8, Ippo got up again. But the 3 knockdowns per round were taking effect and if Ippo gets knocked down again, the match would end. Takamura was shown, thinking in his spine that Kamogawa shouldn't hope anymore and stop the fight because there was a problem with Ippo. But Kamogawa still believed there was still hope. There was no problem with Ippo and he was not punch drunk. But suddenly, Kamogawa realized that he should stop the fight and throw in the towel. But just as he was about to throw it, Ippo landed a strong right punch. Ah, that knocked Antonio down. Antonio quickly got up and the fight resumed. Ippo advanced slowly while Antonio showered punches. Ippo was slowly avoiding Antonio's punches, but some of them were still connecting with Ippo. Ippo didn't back down and continued his assault. Ippo set up a right straight to Antonio's body, and when Antonio thought Ippo would repeat it, he attempted to counter. But it was actually a right straight to the face that knocked Antonio down. Youch! Both had two knockdowns in the round, so whoever gets knocked down again in that round would lose the fight. Antonio got up again, and there were only 40 seconds left in the fourth round. The crowd cheered for Ippo! 
about to finish that fight. He rushed towards Antonio again and connected with a liver blow. Antonio was once again pushed back into the corner. Ipo started the Dempsey roll again and thought to himself, Sorry coach, I know there's something wrong and different about me. Because sometimes he thought he could avoid the enemy's attacks. Sometimes he thought his punches were connecting and there were parts of the fight he forgets. And in Makonochi's spines, after this fight, he won't be able to continue boxing. And all he wished for was to show the new Dempsey role that they worked hard for with Kamagawa. Ippo launched a powerful uppercut using his new version of the Dempsey role, but it was countered by a strong left straight from Antonio. But he didn't fall right away and even threw one more punch because he thought he wasn't hit. And he finally fell for the third time and Antonio Guevara was declared the winner. The match ended with Ippo unconscious. In Miyata's mind, Ippo's sense of range was wrong throughout that fight because of his punch drunk syndrome. And then after a few seconds, Ippo regained consciousness and thanked the audience. And that concludes this intense match. This is Onichan Enghan. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay updated with Hajime no Ippo's upcoming intense matches.